Hi there, my name is Bryce, and today we're going to learn a hip opener stretch called the hip airplane, which is going to be great to do anytime before you swing a club, whether it's on the range or on the course. So our next exercise I'm going to show is a hip opener stretch. This is going to be good because it's really going to help you be able to turn more in both your backswing and that follow through. So I call it the hip airplane exercise and essentially what it is is it's almost like if you're in like a single leg RDL position but you're just going to hold it and essentially all we're doing is we're opening up and right now I feel this all in my inner hip, a little hard to balance and then we're going to rotate through and right now I feel it kind of in my glute and there's different ways to do this so if you can do that perfect or if you need to you can always grab a club you can hold it in either hand whichever one you want and again just opening up and closing down so one thing to focus on is you really kind of want to think like think like your mind's in your hip meaning you're specifically rotating from the hips you're not like twisting your back you're not dipping shoulders and like you're rotating your back neck or anything like this is specifically for the hip and we want everything else to like stay nice and neutral so another variation that i'm actually gonna have terry do is just on the golf cart um, if you're not on the course if you're at home or something you can use a chair or a desk or anything that's really just stable and not going to move but it's going to work perfectly on the golf cart so terry go have you, go ahead and have you set up on this Yep. So yeah, so now open, rotate up. There we go. Keep your head nice and neutral, like looking forward. And then come back down. We'll do three reps that way. Terry, where do you feel this? My hips and lower back. Hips and lower back, yep. Yep, so just kind of like how the mechanics are in this and like how your anatomy's set up. If you stretch out your hips, it, your hips and back are very much connected. So usually when we stretch out one of them, it's gonna help release or stretch out the other. That feels good. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna have you do them where you, remember, uh, we're gonna do okay. like the closed ones as well. Okay. So you can go on the right, yep, right leg and then turn towards me. So this one you're gonna feel on that outside. Oh, yeah. Good. And also you don't need a ton of movement here to see or to get a stretch at all. No, you don't. Um, that's another good thing, like kind of with any stretching in general, it's not like there has to be like a certain type of movement or like even like a basic hamstring stretch. Like you don't need to like touch the ground. It's kind of just as long as you can make improvements and where you're at now and then where you're going to be, that's really what we just need to focus on.